Destiny lore is pretty deep and it's relatively confusing. With the hop train rolling forward towards the gameplay reveal of Destiny 2, I wanted to make a video explaining all of the key plot points and backstory lore that you need to know whether you're new to the Destiny universe or you just haven't paid attention really because you were too busy shooting shit. I'm going to be breaking things down in super simple and easy to understand ways, so without further ado, I present to you Destiny's Story for Dummies. Destiny's story takes place around 700 years in the future. Humans discover this giant softball looking thing called the Traveler. This softball was just chilling up on Mars, so the humans sent some astronauts up there to be like, hey, what's up? Well, the softball was pretty awesome because it led humanity into what was known as the Golden Age. It made everybody smarter, which in turn led to greater technology being developed. The magic softball also made it so that humans could go and live on other planets like Venus and Mars. We're not entirely sure if the giant softball went to Uranus, but I personally think it's pretty safe to say that it did. Like all good stories, this golden age couldn't last forever and eventually something called the darkness showed up and ruined everybody's fun. It caused a bunch of bad stuff to happen and eventually the magic softball used its power to protect the humans from the darkness and it went dormant. Humans built the last safe city under the shadow of the softball. The last bit of magic from the softball was used to create little flying Nolan Norths called ghosts. These ghosts went out to seek heroes who could use the softball's lot as a weapon. Our character in Destiny 1 was a skeleton who was just chilling near a bunch of cars in Russia. A ghost resurrects us, tells us that we're about to be a badass known as a guardian, and leads us on our quest. After beating up some four-armed space pirates and stealing a spaceship, we make our way to the tower. From there, we learn about the darkness and we set out to take the war to them. Along the way, we fought some more of the four-armed space pirates, which are known as the Fallen. The magic softball used to help these guys, and now they're all super salty because they don't have the softball power anymore, and they're just running around shooting stuff and doing general bad guy things. We also meet the Hive, which are basically space zombies, but we're going to talk about them a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. After beating up some Fallen and hopefully teabagging them if you're not a filthy casual, we head to Venus and we meet this robot lady. The robot lady doesn't have time to explain why she doesn't have time to explain, and I could explain what that means, but honestly I don't have time. The robot lady tells us that we gotta stop these other bad guy robots called the Vex. The Vex can time travel, and they're created from a place called the Black Garden. The only people that know how to get there are these blue smurf looking people called the Awoken. The Awoken Queen gives us tips on how to stop the bad guy robots, and we go do what she says. She tells us that the door to the Black Garden is on Mars, so we go there. When we get there, we learn that Mars is now controlled by some space hippos that are known as the Cabal. These dudes love tanks, and they love to fight. So we kick the crap out of these space hippos, we open the Black Garden, and then we go shoot some black jello that was making the Vex. The robot lady gives us a gun and we go about our business for a little bit. After the main story, we went into a Vex stronghold called the Vault of Glass where we fought a really powerful Vex creature known as Atheon. Atheon's really strong but he's no match for gravity and he accidentally fell off a cliff and died. Life ain't easy for Guardians though, because as soon as we're done laughing at Atheon for falling off the ledge, we meet this really strange lady named Eris who tells us that a powerful space zombie is preparing to come wreck our faces with his sword. See, I told you we were going to talk about the space zombies again, you guys never listen to me. Anyways, we go beat up this powerful space zombie named Crota. After we kill Crota, his dad gets super pissed. His dad's name is Oryx, and he can use his space zombie magic to turn enemy forces into his own personal army under his control. Oryx comes to our system in his big spaceship called the Dreadnought, and the Awoken try to stop him. Oryx shoots his giant weapon at the Awoken fleet, and he gets a multi-kill. Multi Anyways, Guardians go on to Oryx's ship, and they kill him by playing the world's most intense game of hopscotch. Just when we think that we're going to get some rest, you know, we find out that we're needed for one final battle. 
The four-armed space pirates are up to no good again and they found some technology called SIVA that changes them and makes them a little bit tougher. They use this to resurrect their buddies and their leader Axis uses this to turn himself into a big spooky spider. We go stop the machine that makes the SIVA and then we go throw some balls at Axis and put an end to the spider menace. Finally, everybody was just chilling in the tower when all of a sudden the space hippos make a surprise attack on the last city and tower. The space hippos that attack us are super tough and they're known as the Red Legion. They're led by this guy named Gaul, or Gary or whatever you want to call him. Anyways, he destroys all our stuff and it's now up to us to go beat him up and get some new stuff. Well, that wraps up Destiny's story for dummies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you were new to Destiny's story, there's definitely a, a lot of great stuff here. I tried to simplify it and, and add a little bit of humor to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you guys are new to split screen, make sure to subscribe because we're going to be doing a ton of Destiny 2 coverage, as well as starting a Destiny-related podcast very soon. So you guys stay tuned for that, and... That pretty much wraps up everything I gotta say today. You know, thank you guys for watching Split Screen. My name is Cody, and you have an awesome day.